we're celebrating the implement implementation phase, phase two of the Carbon Neutral Airport Program, which is a joint program between MassDOT, the airport, and the Volpe Center. That's terrific. What does that mean for us as, uh, as an airport? It means we're chosen to be on the cusp of sustainability for the Commonwealth. It's a pilot program. It's going to be an example for all other airports. It's a wonderful opportunity not only for sustainability, but for energy efficiency, benefits for the town as well. We're trying to completely offset all of our carbon emissions. So any fossil fuel use has an emissions associated with it. Big driver of climate change. Anything we can do as a leader in the Commonwealth locally is to the benefit. We all suffer from erosion on the island. That's a direct result of climate change. It's surprising for as small of an island Nantucket is how progressive they've been in issues of open space, coastal erosion, and sustainability. And uh, we have a big day today. We have the governor coming. We do. We're, we're stoked. We're stoked to have the governor and secretary of DOT and some other dignitaries. Can't wait to see him here. It'll be awesome. Yeah, it'll be great. Thank you. Thanks. Wow. Hey, guys. Hey. How are you? Hey. Nice to see you. You all work at the airport? They will. Yeah. At some point. <laughs> they will. Hello, sir. Yeah, small school. Yeah, I'm from Annapolis. Hey. Okay. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm the camp coordinator. This is Aviation Camp. Sponsored by the Nantucket Flying Association. And Jim Gordon came here in Nantucket Airport. Oh, he's going to see it again. <laughs> it's very, going very well. We'd love to support you. He's strong as well. Very strong. That's fine. It's okay. How are you? How are you? How's everybody? Good. Hey. You enjoy the camp? Yeah. I wish I knew how. Do you learn how to fly at the camp? Yeah. You really do? I'm flying three planes. You're flying three planes? Yeah. What size planes? Uh, four seaters. Four seaters? What's the model? Um, Sesame Skyhawk. Okay. And what else? Uh, Piper Cherokee. Yeah, I was listening. Man, yeah, if you're gonna fly me, you can go to Dakota. Are you a camper or a counselor? He's a counselor. He's from Ireland, actually. Oh, all right. Hello, young man. How are you? Hi. What's your name? Thomas. Hi, Tom. Okay. What's your name? I'm Maggie. Why am I shaking? No, I don't know why did you take it Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I can't. Okay, I can't. We have a cat from the UK. Hello. Hello. Mr. Cessna. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. I am Levi Morganton. Hello, Levi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. What's your name? Hi. Hi, Jack. Nice to meet you. Okay? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Alden. Alden. Pleasure. Nice Hi. to meet you. My pleasure. What's your name? Teddy. Hi, Ted. Hey. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Eric. Eric. Excellent. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. What's your name? Tim. Tim? Pleasure. Hi. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Matthew. Hi, Matthew. Hey. Hi, I'm Tom. Nice Hi, to meet Tom. you. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Hi. What's I'm your Jack. name? Jack? Yeah. Pleasure. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Now, how many of you live in Massachusetts? All right, yeah, I should have spent more time on that. <laughs> Great to see you all. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? Thank you. How are you? How are you? Thank you for Mr. coming. Mr. Chairman, I'm glad to be here. Thank you. It's very nice of you to come. Thank you. Now, you're, you, you're dressed like a mainlander. Well, I thought you would be. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sir, let me give some time to manager. Thanks for this. Hi, Dave Arthur from Hi, the USDOT Volpe Center in hey, Cambridge. Excellent. Nice to see you. Thank you for this partnership. Well, thank really you for great. coming. Really great to see you. Hey. My name is Patrick. I'm the Gasparro. I'm the Vice Chairman of the Airport Commission. Great to see you. Very nice to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you. Hi. Jeanette Topham. I'm a member of the Airport Commission. Hi, Jeanette. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Congratulations thank to you. Thank you. Thank Hi, Mr. Noah Carver. I'm the Environmental Coordinator. Hi, Noah. Nice to see you. Hey, Governor. Good to see you. Welcome to the island. See you. Hi, Katie Service with Aeronautics. Hi, Hi nice, nice to meet you. you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Can you hear me all right? Yes. Um, Governor Patrick, Secretary Davey, distinguished guests, guests, welcome to the commencement ceremony for the implementation phase of the program to enable Nantucket Memorial Airport to become the first carbon neutral airport in the United States. 
I'm Dan Drake, Chairman of the Airport Commission. I'd like to take special note of our guests this afternoon, the participants in the aviation camp of the Nantucket Flying Association. Welcome. The Commission and the airport staff, as well as the citizens of Nantucket, are pleased and proud to be at the forefront of the effort to eliminate greenhouse gas emissions and to reduce fossil fuel dependency. As the second largest consumer of electricity on the island, it is our responsibility, indeed our obligation, to embrace the carbon neutral program. Many people are involved in this effort. It would be unwise to try to name all the individuals and agencies who are participating, so I will only name the principal ones. From the airport, the manager, Tom Rafter, environmental coordinator, Noah Carberg, and um, the town's energy coordinator, Lauren Sinatra. Uh, the director of the Mass DOT Division of Aeronautics, Chris Willenborg, and Katie Service, the senior environmental analyst, David Arthur and his colleagues from the Volpe National Transportation Systems Center, and the most recent addition to the team, Honeywell Building Solutions, the ESCO, or any energy service company that will be responsible for making this whole thing work. What is certain is that none of this would have come together without the passion of Governor Deval Patrick and the cheerleading of Secretary Rich Davey of Mass, Depart Mass DOT, the Department of Transportation. The Mass DOT launched its Green Dot Program a Sustainability Implementation Plan to build on the environmental initiatives that since, that since 2007 have been hallmarks of Governor Patrick's administration in the Commonwealth. We are honored by Governor uh, Patrick's presence with us today to kick off the implementation phase. It is my privilege to introduce to you the Governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Deval Patrick. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for the warm welcome. I will be brief because it's a beautiful day, a gorgeous Friday afternoon on Nantucket, and you know we ought to be outside. This mile, I just want to say, first of all, to, uh, to you, Mr. Chairman, to the representative, uh, to all of the team here at, uh, at the airport, uh, to all of the team in, uh, in the town, and uh, those who worked on this, I want to say a little bit about what today's announcement is and the context in which it fits. And maybe as I go along, those of you from the camp will understand why this is so much about you. Under the uh, incredible leadership of Secretary Davey and Chris Willenborg, the Aeronautics Division at Mass DOT as a program to make operations at our airport facilities carbon neutral. As the chairman said, Nantucket Memorial Airport will be the first airport in America to be carbon neutral. That's quite a milestone. The airport in this next phase will implement some 25 measures, including a 1.1 megawatt solar farm, a 400 kilowatt parking lot solar array, and a new, and new building equipment and systems such as indoor and outdoor LED lighting, energy recovery ventilators, building envelope improvements, solar for hot water, an integrated building management platform, highly efficient infrared garage heating and boiler burner replacements. I'm looking at the Honeywell. Folks, because you actually understand all that stuff. A lot of great work has been done at Nantucket Memorial Airport since 2012. Uh, this next phase will get the airport to carbon neutrality within its operation, the first airport to achieve such a milestone. And it's one they've achieved through an active collaboration with the town, the FAA, Volpe, Honeywell, and many others from whom you will hear this morning. <coughs> This milestone fits in a larger context, and the chairman alluded to this as well. Eight years ago, we in Massachusetts took a fresh look at our energy reality. Being at the end of the energy pipeline, electricity costs are historically high, and we were at the mercy of global price fluctuation. Besides, the climate is changing, and we needed to deal with the requirements, the, uh, the obligations of uh, better stewardship. So we made a conscious decision to shift our focus to developing cleaner sources of energy and reducing our environmental impact and greenhouse gas emissions. We knew it would take partnerships, precisely the kind of working together on evidence today. 
Today, I'm pleased to report that Massachusetts, as a result of that focus, has a thriving clean energy marketplace, an exciting cluster for clean tech innovation, and sharply reduced emissions. We lead the nation in energy efficiency today. We've tripled the energy we're saving from energy efficiency initiatives. So far, $1.2 billion of investments in energy efficiency has yielded some $5.5 billion in benefits, economic and environmental, uh, to our population. Wind capacity has grown from 3 megawatts to more than 103 megawatts today. We've grown from 3 megawatts to over 500 megawatts of installed solar today, exceeding our first goal of sol for solar by 100% in half the time. So we set a new goal of 1.6 gigawatts of solar installed by 2020. We now have solar in all but one of our communities in Massachusetts, and we're working on that one too. These efforts have combined in a thriving clean energy economy with nearly 80,000 workers working in some 5,500 companies across the Commonwealth. The private sector invests more dollars per capita in Massachusetts clean technology benefit, uh, t uh, businesses excuse me, than in any other state in America. Since 2008, we've been working toward a 20% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions, and I'm happy to say that we have reduced our emissions by 16%. We set a longer term goal to, to get to our 80% reduction by 2050. And in transportation, we're taking many of the steps already to get us there. Last week, our energy and environmental agencies announced rebates for the purchase or lease of new electric vehicles and incentives for workplaces that install charging stations. We're testing vehicle to grid school buses and investing in cleaner fleets across the Commonwealth. And today's announcement is an example, indeed a key example, uh, that the airport is taking to bring us further down the path of lower emissions and a more responsible future. Now, what's all that mean? It's about generational responsibility. We, in our time, and every one of us was taught this by our grandparents, is supposed to do what we can to leave things better for them, for you. And I want you to just know that all of the adults in this room are here today because they see their responsibility in, not, in this time just that way. This project is about you. And I hope by your being here you will take away, as you get older, um, some thoughts, some opportunity to reflect on what you're supposed to do to pass on a better world for those who come behind you as well. I'm proud to be a part of it and I'm proud you're here. Thank you very much.